Hi, my name is Madeline and welcome to this foggy, misty watercolor tutorial. We will be painting this really soft and warm reference photo, which can be found on unsplash.com. These are the watercolor supplies that we will be using today. I will be painting with 100% cotton watercolor paper. We will be using four colors today, Naples Yellow, Naples Rose, Opera Rose, and Raw Sienna. We will be painting with four brushes, a flat brush to wet the paper, a mop brush to paint the background wash, a liner brush, and a makeshift tree brush that I will talk more about later. I have a paint palette for mixing, I have masking tape to tape my paper down, and I will use a hot air tool to speed up the drying time. All of the supplies that I use today will be listed in the description below with links, and all the brands of the supplies are in parentheses next to them. Let's get started. So to start things off, I will be taping my watercolor paper down with masking tape on all four sides because we will be starting off with wet on wet technique. Wet on wet technique is when we wet the paper before putting paint on it and this allows our colors to blend really smoothly and we get softer tones and values with our paints. So I'm grabbing my flat brush and some clean water and I'm just wetting my paper evenly. I want to use about 30 seconds to get the paper nice and wet. So we are gonna start off by painting the background wash. So I'm gonna grab some Naples yellow and a little bit of Naples rose to paint the top. Looking at the reference photo, the top of the photo is pretty light and where we see the tree in the fog, I feel like the background there is a little bit warmer, a little bit pinker, and then the foreground we have kind of a darker yellow color. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of opera rose with my Naples yellow and Naples rose to paint that middle section where we see that foggy tree. And I'm gonna grab a tiny bit more pink. And I'm just gonna make that area a little bit warmer. And so one thing to know when we paint wet on wet, the colors are gonna be a little bit softer than if we were to paint this on dry paper. And that allows for us to blend all of our colors really well. And then now as I'm moving towards the lower half of the watercolor piece, I'm gonna get a little bit more raw sienna to get that dark um, brownish foreground. And so the colors in this reference photo are just super light and soft, so I don't wanna go too heavy on my colors. And now that I have my background wash, I'm going to grab my liner brush and I'm gonna pick up some raw sienna and a little bit of opera rose. And I'm gonna paint those sort of, um, that wheat field we see in the front. It is a bit blurry because it is a misty, foggy um, photo. And so to get that kind of blurred effect, we're going to paint these brush strokes on wet paper. And so right now all I'm doing is sort of making kind of like grass movements, how you would paint like long or tall grass in this foreground. I like how this looks, so I'm gonna grab my hot air tool and we're gonna completely dry this background wash layer. Now we're gonna paint that tree in the middle of our photo. 
and the bottom of the tree is not really well visible because of the fog so I'm gonna grab a pretty light color for the tree trunk and I'm gonna make that tree trunk um, I'm gonna paint that right here and then I'm gonna wash my liner brush and I'm just gonna smooth out that bottom so that we don't have a hard edge so it kind of looks like the bottom of the tree is kind of hidden by the fog and then there's like a few trees surrounding it that are also very, very um, faint looking. And so I'm just gonna grab super, super light, almost transparent values of this really soft pink. And now I'm washing my brush and I'm just sort of smoothing out the bottom so that we don't have any hard edge. And that creates that sort of misty feel. And then now I'm going to grab my makeshift tree brush. So this is a really old Princeton Heritage round two. And all I do is I smash it onto my palette like this. And it ends up becoming just this really fun and kind of unique brush for how I like to paint my trees. And so I'm just getting a really um light wash of that peachy color um this is mainly opera rose and naples yellow and i'm just gonna like loosely paint this tree and um there's really no right or wrong way to paint trees you can paint this tree however you want um but the trick is to sort of have some of the edges um, blurred so that it kind of looks like it's um, far away and in this kind of deep fog. So I'm gonna add a little bit of raw sienna to the bottom part of this tree. And then I washed the brush. So this is just, um, just water and I'm just sort of softening those edges. And I'm also gonna paint another little tree just to the left And so I would say the hardest part about painting um, this tree is going to be water control. So we do not want our brush to sort of be like loaded with water. We want the brush to have pretty much just a very light value of um, the sort of peachy pink color. Um, and a good way to know if you have too much water is if you take your brush and if you take your brush and you tap the brush to make a brush stroke on a piece of scratch paper, if you see kind of like a drop of water, then you have too much water in your brush. We want to just see sort of like a brush stroke of paint. So I'm gonna grab my liner brush again and I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of raw sienna just to give the tree some definition with um, the trunk and the branches. And I feel like the tree is like a little bit on the transparent side, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more color to it um, by adding a little bit of raw sienna. I'm just going to darken the trunk of the tree one last time. And again, I'm washing my brush and I'm smoothing out that bottom line, that bottom point. And then the last thing to this tutorial is we're just gonna paint a small flock of birds. So I'm gonna grab the liner brush again and I don't want my birds to be black cause I don't want them to stand out that much. I want them to sort of feel like they almost kind of blend into the fog also. So I'm just using raw sienna and um, just making these really tiny like V, upside down V and regular V strokes. And then I'm gonna dry these birds and the last thing to do is I'm going to um, write my signature right here. And that's all there is to our super easy, soft, warm, misty, um, foggy watercolor tutorial. I really liked this photo because it was, um, it's unique because I feel like most of the reference photos that I found for fog were sort of like dark and moody and this one has sort of like a warm sunset feel so I was very happy to see this to find this photo and to paint it so thank you again for painting along with me
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you like my content, please check me out on Patreon.